I also was really curious about the changes going on to the collections process because you mentioned that you know there's some of these tactics where they'll they'll try to like force you to you know pay up all by a bunch of different means but sometimes you're dead if you don't pay to get sent to a collections agency and then they're the ones kind of hunting you down now uh, and oftentimes they're very aggressive and very you know manipulative in the ways they try to collect uh the this money they're trying to get back uh, what, what's been changing because i heard there's some, some some differences in the way like how much time you have now and and kind of some more rights that we have on the consumer side yeah so again when a hospital says hey pay this or you know we're going to send this to collections and it's going to be on your credit port hospitals can send it to collections pretty much whenever there's supposed to be some protections there but i've had uh, patients come to me and say i didn't even get a bill like i got a call from the collections company and that is the first time that i knew that i had a a bill from the hospital so they they'll send it to collections but that threat is kind of empty because they've they've changed the laws now to where it can't actually hit your credit report and do anything to you until one year after the initial bill um, so it used to be six months and it's expanded now to a year. So you have that year to sit there and negotiate, whether it be with the collections company or the hospital and try to get that amount down. Now, the next thing is um, once once you pay the amount off, you know, if you have a, a hundred dollar bill sitting in collections and it actually did hit your credit after a year, once you pay it off, it's it's gonna be completely eliminated off your credit report. It's not gonna have a bad mark like it used to, um, even after you paid it off. So it's gonna be completely wiped. Your your credit score will go back to whatever it was before you had the, the bill. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because like you, you, you have these people who are just, you know, for years you're penalized for probably being in a tough spot or maybe not even knowing that you had this bill. Because I've had that before where I, I remember years and years ago I was I was checking my credit score and I was like, it looks significantly lower than it was before. Like, What happened? And I go and check and they said, oh, there's an item in collections for a medical bill. And I'm like, what do you mean? What medical bill? I never got anything. And turns out they mailed it to the wrong address. And that's why I didn't know. And then I just had to sitting on my, I had to do all this work to kind of get things cleared up. But it's, it's a significant hassle to have something like that happen to you. Yeah, definitely. And I've had a patient tell me that he was denied buying a house because of a $60 medical bill. And he said, wow. I paid it off and you know, it was gone, but it, it still affected my credit and I, I couldn't, I couldn't get the house. And I'm like, man, that's, that's so unfortunate. But at least now, once you pay it off, it drops off your report, which brings me to my next point, which is starting in January, 2023, anything any medical bill under five hundred dollars will not be reported to the credit bureaus whatsoever so if you have a medical bill that's 120 bucks sitting in collections you know i i, I don't want to i don't want to tell people the wrong thing because you can be sued but negotiate that bill as much or for as long as you possibly can because it's not actually going to hit your credit report starting in in january Okay, that's good to know because if you think about it, like even a five, just say it's a five hundred dollar bill. Like we're at the top, top of this this limit here. Just say that it ends up going to collections for whatever reason. That small amount of money, if it goes to collections and ends up in your credit report, has a can have a significant impact. Like you said, like if you're trying to buy a house, if you're trying to take out a loan, if you need a car, like all these things, if you're trying to rent an apartment, it could it could hinder you from a lot of different things for such a small amount of money. So I think it's only fair to put a cap on you know what type of uh, what dollar amount can cause significant damage damage to your life? Yeah, and and one thing I do when we are working with bills that are in collections, um, some of the questions that we ask are: A, are you planning to sue for this bill? Because usually when somebody sues, it's the collections company. So, are you planning to sue? Is this bill? Um, accruing interest and if they say no to those two things then I know that I've got some time to negotiate that bill um, especially you know if it's under $500 I'm like okay well here's my I'm gonna I'm offer you a hundred dollars and if you say no I'll call you back in a month and we'll keep doing this dance until you accept what I'm gonna pay you so that's that's kind of the 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 upside of these new rules is it kind of gives you a a little bit more leeway to be able to bargain and negotiate because it's not really going to affect you significantly for quite a while and you know too like well, the way I think about collections agencies like sometimes people feel guilty like oh you know I'm, I'm not, I don't I want to pay them the full amount that they uh, that they sent over to me but 
the reality is they bought this debt for pennies on the dollar from the hospital. So the hospital was already like out of this. Like whoever, whoever the debt had the debt originally, they're already done. They sold it and whatever we're, we're over this and this collection agency for them. They're just, it's just profit. Like whatever they can get is more than likely going to make them money. So don't, I don't feel any guilt <laughs> talking to these collections agencies. Exactly. And with the collections agency that actually buys the bill from the hospital, cause they can do it several different ways, but that's, that's traditionally what a collections agency do is they'll buy it for, you know, a cent for every dollar. It's, it's just a ridiculously low amount. So when you're negotiating with them, you can offer what, what you can pay and that's going to be good enough for them. Um, now there are some collections agencies that did not buy the debt. They actually work for the hospital, which is another hospitals well, are in, having, yeah, they have they their have own house collection agencies. Yes. So they will wow. make their own collections agencies. And that's where we run into issues because they didn't buy the debt. They're just on retainer being paid from the hospital. So they're just trying to collect as much as they can from the hospital, which is a whole different ball game, but still negotiable. Still, you can say, Hey, this is the amount of money that I can pay right now to close out this account, take it or leave it, because I know that I have a year before this hits my credit. Um, so I'm going to keep calling you every month until you accept my offer. Huh, okay, that's good to know. I mean, just when I think I, I, I know what's going on with hospitals and medical bills, I'm learning something new and I'm like, wow, okay, they got they got a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Yeah, me, me too, Chris. I, I do this for a living and every day I learn something new and every day I learn something that I probably didn't want to know. So, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, I, I need to know this, but I really didn't want to know this is what they're doing. It's, it's right. crazy. 